I welcome you back to the Debrinic Channel. My name's Chip. How you doing today? It's a beautiful Sunday morning here at the Debrinic Studios, and we are going to get right into it. Yes, I was down for a bit. Sorry about Tuesday. I was feeling under the weather, but I'm back, and I will try to be back this Tuesday. So everything is ready to go, and we are fired up. We are at windy.com. Look at this. You got some rain, precipitation coming to the area, possibly, in the next 10 days. Especially up here in Northern California, you're talking 2.95 inches of rain, possibly. Happy Camp, 2.8. We come down to Trinity, about an inch. We come over to Lake Shasta, about 1.62 inches. Down here at Lake Shasta itself, 0.82. We come down here towards Oroville, and you have a 0 0.36 and 1.26 in the mountains. Let's see if this is new snow. As you can see, this could be another snowfall here. 5.6 inches possibly coming over at Chester's 1.2. We continue to scoot down. Even over at Truckee could get 1.4 over here at Caribou. 0.5, Portal, 1.4, even Reno getting in on the action, 0.8, South Lake Tahoe, 1 inch possibly, we continue to scoot down to like Bear Valley, 1.4, Yosemite Valley, so this thing's going to go way down, as we're getting close to November by this point in time, this will be into November, you got 1.1 inches, we go back to the rain accumulation, you can see not a whole lot of precipitation in Southern California, just mainly the northern part possibly, that's the GFS, we go back to the European you can see maybe a little bit possibly maybe a hair over in Bakersfield hello to everybody out there 1.2 inches and that's what we got going on for the Colorado lovers people you have possibly more precipitation almost two inches of precipitation coming here and overall for the whole United States look at this like I live in Illinois and this is real good news we're finally going to get some precipitation because it's been dry for like almost a month and a half we haven't got rain since September and the last rain we got was a good soaker at two inches but it's been dry ever since you can see there's still a big high pressure out here that's controlling the weather and a little bit over here which is not a bad thing over like in Tennessee North Carolina Georgia place where where Helene came through and dumped all that precipitation. Now, you could see up in Alaska, there's quite a bit of precipitation coming as well, but we are focusing on California today, so we're going to go back to California here, and you can see just quite a bit. We go back to the GFS. The GFS is calling for a lot lower amounts, 0 0.37 up by Oroville. Oroville itself, 0 0.21, so we'll be keeping an eye on this to see what ultimately happens. So what do you think? Do you think this rain will be enough to make a difference? Difference, or do you think it's just a drop in the bucket for the California reservoirs? And what model do you think is going to be more accurate? Do you think the GFS is going to be more accurate? Or do you think the European is going to be more accurate? Leave a comment down below and let's get engaged. And also don't forget to like, subscribe, and if you feel up to it, you can share with family and friends. And also don't forget that this content is not sponsored by anybody but you guys. So you guys liking and watching the videos and occasionally giving a few bucks here and there is greatly appreciated. It makes this channel continue to thrive and that's what we're trying to do here. So let me know what you guys think. Leave the comment down below and let's continue. And let's go out to the drought monitoring system. Let's start to talk about it. California's a lot of counties are under at least abnormal dry mount. You have severe drought on the east side over in San Bernardino County to Riverside County. And you can see that it is same as San Bernardino. And then you have Imperial County the same way. You come up here, you can see that the rest of it, just with the exception of Humboldt County, you have a little bit. Most of the California is under drought. There's none down here, which is good news, especially because usually there is drought down here. So that, that's good news. You have a little bit over here that's a lot of drought. So that's what we got going on. And this was taken October 24th, and today's October 27th. We're going to start over at Folsom today. And we'll roll out there now. As we roll out to Lake Folsom, you can see that it did get higher than last year. However, last year was much higher at this point in time. Last year at this point in time, we were looking at 424.38 feet. And today we're looking at 404.48 feet as it's right here. 
And that was on Sunday, October 27, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 61.52 feet below full pool of 466. Changes since yesterday at Lake Folsom. The lake is down 0.18 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 2.16 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 4.15 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 7.38 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 7.61 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 19.67 feet, just like I was talking about. Your inflows are currently 680, and your outflows are 2,344, and we continue to scoot along here. So your full pool level at Lake Folsom is always and forever 466. In 2022, we are looking at 386.16 feet. In 2023, we're looking at 424.15 feet. Today, we're looking at 404.48 feet. Deadpool level is 300 feet, and we continue to roll on here. As we roll out to Lake Folsom's percentage of capacity, the current percentage of capacity is 41.97%, and we continue to roll over to New Bullard's Bar next. As we roll over to New Bullard's Bar, just like Folsom, you could see that it was higher than last year. However, now it is way lower than last year. You could see in 2023, it really bumped up right around October 21st. We didn't get that bump this year, but then it came right back down also. So our current water level at New Bullard's Bar is 1,870.80 feet. And that was on Sunday, October 27, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 84.20 feet below full pool of 1,955. Changes since yesterday over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.25 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 3.26 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 5.79 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 12.96 feet. Over the last six months, the lake's only down 4.10 feet. However, over the last six months, the lake is down 24.24 feet. Your inflows are 549 and your outflows are 1,630. And we continue to scoot along here. New Boulard's bar water level, we're looking at 1,955 to your full pool in 2000. 22 the level was 1867.31 feet 2023 we're looking at 1895 today we're looking at 1870.80 feet and deadpool is 1700 and we continue to scoot along here percentage of capacity we are currently looking at 63.27 percent and we continue to scoot over to lake trinity next as we roll out to lake trinity now this lake has done really well this year it is higher than it has been overall so that's good news the current water level at lake trinity is 2313.97 feet and this was on sunday october 27 2024 at 9 a.m the level is 56.03 feet below full pool of 2,370. Changes over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.20 feet. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 1.66 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 3.21 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 7.62 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 32.27 feet. Over the last year, however, the lake is up 35.20 feet. Inflows are currently 986, and your outflows are 1,570. We continue to scoot along here. As we roll out to Lake Trinity's water level, Lake Trinity's water levels top of the glory holes 2,370.10 feet. In 2022, the level was 2,191.11 feet. Last year, we're looking at 2,278.77 feet. Today, we're looking at 2,313.97 feet, and Deadpool is 2,100 feet. As we roll out to Lake Trinity's percentage of capacity is next in the Percentage of capacity for Lake Trinity is 66.75%, and we continue to scoot on over to Lake Shasta next. As we roll out to Lake Shasta, you can see that it was much higher last year, and it continues to fall. Now, we're not as low as 2022, which is a good sign, and today's current water level is 990.23 feet. 
And that was on Sunday, October 27, 2024 at 9 a.m. The level is 76.77 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes over the last 24 hours. The lake is down 0.21 feet. Over the last seven days, Lake Shasta is down 1.73 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 3.87 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is down 8.32 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is down 22.26 feet. Over the last year, the lake is down 24.72 feet. Inflows are currently 2,355 and your outflows are 3,259. We continue to scoot along here. As we roll out to Lake Shasta's water level, 1,067 is your full pool level. In 2022, we're looking at 919.88 feet. Last year, we're looking at 1,014.95 feet. Today, we are looking at 990.23 feet, and Deadpool is 737.75 feet. And we continue to scoot on to Lake, Lake Shasta. Percentage of capacity is next. And the percentage of capacity at Lake Shasta is currently 57.59%. And we're out to Lake Warville for our final stop tonight. The water level at Lake Warville is 764.42 feet. And you can see we were way high back in June. June 6, we were around 899.78 feet, which is higher than it was last year at this time. And almost to the very top, they let it squeak and they, they didn't let it flow over the emergency just for kicks they only do that when needed but i think it should have been tested out in my opinion but that's just my opinion i'm not running the show over there they are so that's what we got there and then it goes all the way down to today's level of 764.42 feet and that was on sunday october 27 2024 at 9 a.m the level is 132.79 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.45 feet over the last 24 hours the lake is also down 2.69 feet over the last seven days. The lake is down 6.24 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also down 23.62 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is down 50.93 feet over the last six months. The lake is down 55.91 feet over the last year. And your inflows are currently 756 and your outflows are zero right now. So they're not releasing anything. However, the lake continues to fall. A lot of that could be from evaporation. And we go out to your bar graph next. As we roll out to your bar graph, your full pool level is is 900 as always in 2022 we are looking at 681.30 feet last year we're looking at 821.08 feet today we're looking at 764.42 feet and deadpool is currently 640 and we continue to roll out to percentage of capacity for the final stop tonight as we roll out to Lake Orville's percentage of capacity, you can see that today's level is 50.61%. We are currently halfway released of the amount of water that can be released at Lake Orville. And that is all I have. Thank you guys for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video. We will see you on the next one. God bless.